brings me higher than the moon. Hi guys, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles and I'm here today with Camry and we're gonna show you how to do the bun of braids. Now we kind of have one that I think is sort of similar in the pinwheel bun, but with all the twists and stuff in the pinwheel, it takes a really long time to do it. So we figured out this new method that will kind of give a similar look, but it speeds things up and looks amazing. Okay, now I'm gonna take my trusty bun maker, and her hair's already in a high ponytail, and I'm gonna slip her hair through the bun maker and let it fall evenly all over the top of the bun maker. So we get it nice and smooth and even. And this hairstyle is going to vary just slightly depending on the thickness of your hair. Camry has really fine hair strands, but she has like medium thickness hair. So I'm gonna make a little spot on one side, doesn't matter where you start, but right here for me. And then I'm gonna go just a little bit back and pick up about an inch of hair, okay? So we've got our like inch of hair and we're gonna start our braids right here with this piece. So I'm gonna do a regular braid. So I'm gonna break this into three strands and I'm gonna go ahead and just begin a regular braid. And I'm gonna do it I wouldn't say super tight, but eat super loose either, just medium. We're going to end up pancaking the hair, so we don't want it so tight that the hair won't separate when we want it to. So you just do a really quick braid. You only need to go down about six inches, maybe that far, eight inches. Then I'm gonna take my fingers, pop them underneath the bun maker, grab that braid and flip it through. This is why you don't have to braid it very far because you want it to loosen up right here at the top again. So we have our nice first little braid. We're going to take her hair, this is the piece we were using before, and I'm gonna gather maybe another half an inch of hair. And I'm gonna add it to that original section. So again, we have about an inch of hair. And you're gonna wanna mix this up. Like you, you don't want one piece to be all of that short hair and then two pieces to be all long. So I kind of just try to run my fingers through it a few times, mix the hair up, and then again, separate it into three sections, and begin another regular braid. Okay, so we are doing a regular braid. Again, you're going about six, eight inches maybe. And reach through, flip it under, Loosen it up, grab a half an inch section of hair. Let me turn you a little bit more. This chair doesn't want to stay put today. Add in another half an inch. Make sure you mix the hair up again. I'm gonna take just a tiny bit more. I can feel that section's just a little bit smaller. And again, section off. Start it right. Okay, on this last piece, you do want to braid all the way down on this one because we're going to use the entire length of hair on this very last one. So quickly try to braid it all the way down. the tiny, tiny, tiny ends, and then secure it with an elastic. I mean, some of the ends you can hide, you can just tuck back into the bun, but, so we grab our elastic at this point. There we go. Okay, same thing, just gonna reach in, wrap it through the bun maker, and then go ahead and do it again. And this will depend again on the length of your hair. You may only get one wrap, you may get two. Sort of varies a little bit. And then on this one, I mean, I just, you know, Camry's hair is kind of that weird length where I can either try to do a third one or I can just try to make these a little bit looser and tuck it in in the back. So it's up to you what you do on that one. I may just try to loosen it all a little bit and tuck this end piece down into the middle. that a little bit okay now you can see the problem is at this point that her hair isn't you know we didn't do enough braids to cover the entire bun maker so this is how we're gonna 
fix that. We're gonna go back to where we started and you're just gonna pancake the hair. And this, you, by pancaking, I mean you're really gonna pull it so it's quite a bit bigger than it was to begin with. Like, you know, really tug on those five or six little spots of elbows so that they're really big and puffy. And then we're gonna slide it over to the side a little bit. We're gonna go to the next braid and do the same thing and just really tug. And then when you get them, you know, pulled, tugged open so they're really full, I'm just gonna take a hairpin and a hairpin is a little different than a bobby pin. You can use a bobby pin too if you want. I just like the hairpins because there's a little more space between the middle. And I'm just gonna try to catch a little piece of both edge of braid and then tuck that hairpin down so that those edges are just barely touching each other and covering up the bun maker. Now we're gonna keep going around the bun. We're gonna go to the next braid. Give it a good tug. This doesn't hurt or damage the hair. You're just loosening up those braids you created making them nice and puffy. And again, take a little hairpin, grab a little tiny edge of both pieces, stick it in. Go to the next braid, pull. You can see why we didn't want to braid it too tightly. Puppy love is hard to ignore When every little thing you do I do Take one tiny little bobby pin just for good measure to make sure we don't have this end popping out right here. And tuck it down in. And you are finished. And what you end up with is just this really gorgeous textured bun. Okay, so let's do the final spin. Do 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 do. I love it because it's so much texture in the bun and you can't really even tell it's braids, so you're just kind of wondering how they did that, which is what I love about it. Now, for those of you guys that were following Camry on her Instagram account, she had one, Camry Noel, and unfortunately she got shut down because she wasn't 13 yet, and that's the rule of their policy. So we've set her up a new account. You can find her, I'll put a description, I'll put a link in the description box below, but it's Camry Noel M. You say it, tell them. It's spelled K-A-M-R-I-N-O-E-L. <laughs> and she lost touch with a lot of you and was really sad and very sad to lose her pictures. So we're going to try again and this time I'm helping her run it. So of course we're all up and up this time and won't have any problems. So go check her out. She would love to see you guys over there. And we will see you guys next Sunday. Bye guys. Bye.